In this video, I'll show you how to move apps to the SD card on your Samsung A32. This works right out of the box, so you don't have to do any configuration. Obviously, you have to have an SD card, otherwise there will be nowhere to move the apps to. So firstly, check if your Samsung A32 has a working SD card. To do that, go to Settings, scroll down to Battery and Device Care, and then when it opens up, click on Storage. And then click on the menu here, and then click on Advanced. As you can see, I do have an SD card with 29.8 GB usable. Now I'm just going to close this, go back to Settings, and then click on Apps. Now you have to select the app that you want to move to the SD card. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to move the Facebook app to the SD card. So I'll just scroll down until I see the Facebook app, and then select it. And then once it's open, click on Storage. And then as you can see, it says Storage Used Internal Shared Storage, which means that it is not on the SD card. To move it to the SD card, all I have to do is click on Change, and then I'll get the pop-up showing me that currently it is on the Internal Shared Storage, but because I want to move it to the SD card, I'm going to select SD card. I'll get this export dialog, which is basically confirming that I want to move the app to the SD card. As you can see, it says exporting Facebook and this data to SD card. It also tells you that this will take a few moments and the app cannot be used while it's being exported. Also, do not remove the SD card during export. This can mess up your SD card or the app or both. Now, if everything is all right, click on move to move the app. Once the move is done, it will just close up. So now just go back to apps, scroll down to Facebook. And then click on storage. And as you can see, the storage used is now on external storage, which is our SD card. Now just to show you some apps that can be moved. So if I go back and then back again, and then select maybe um, the calculator. If I click on storage, you can see there is no change button, which means that I can't move the calculator to the SD card. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll catch you in the next one.